Johnny, uh, when was it that you first decided to start racing Speedway? <laughs> that was a good one. Way back in 1948, there was a horse training track out at Tai Tap. My old man's riding on it. And uh, one day he said, you want to have a ride? Just had a meeting. And I was 14, so they saw the ACU, they gave him permission, and I went out and I had a ride. What, 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 what was your feelings on it? Did you like it straight off? or? long way back and hard to remember but it was exciting and but I thought it was that was once and then Speedway started in Christchurch so uh, automatic just started again yeah the Speedway you you stand up on the bike so you you know I've seen you ride on the wall of death and I saw you riding to school on your triumph but what about getting on a speed bike you've got to stand up get up the front did you do much practice before you started racing and doing it no well, maybe I was just lucky, but that seemed to click fairly natural in that, well, I was a bit short anyway, so I had to sort of stretch a little bit, but then a couple of years later, Norman Parker came out, and he started telling me little things as well, and from there on it just developed. When, when you went to e England, how many seasons had you done in New Zealand? Two. Two, and Two. did you feel... S uh, satisfied that you was ready to go to England when you went to England? <sighs> there was no time for any fearing. Norman Parker didn't come and see me naturally, he saw Dad and said he'd like to take me back to Wimbledon. This was on a Friday. I didn't have a passport and on a Monday morning I'm in Wellington and on a ship and off to England. Afterwards, while I was on the boat then, I could start to think and analyse things a little bit, but I wasn't worried, just got to take it as I can. Did, were you conscious of any names in England or any who was good riders and who was world champions? Did you know anything about Not the history of The only thing I did know, because it was in the paper out here in actual fact, that Tommy Price had won the world final, the first Englishman to do it. And I met him three or four days after I landed in England. It was good. Did you did you understand there was a profession to be made, there was good money to be you could make your living at it? No. That, well, I knew you had to go on and make money so you could pay for a bike and things like that, but not as a living. Uh, I was too young, it was, well, it was an interesting experience to see what would happen, and it worked. Great. Okay, shall we give it a... We'll, we'll start right at the begin, beginning again, Ron. We'll start right at the beginning again. He's on, I think. Right. Ronnie, what do you remember of your first Speedway ride? Oh, that was a long while back. But it was a training track just outside of Christchurch at Tri Tap for horses and they're having a motorbike meeting on it. I was 14 and Dad was riding on the rudge so I was out there with him and he saw the ACU and they said yes, I could do one race and he put me on a bike and I'd done it. And, well, that was the first real feeling of Speedway. What what age were you then? I was 14 then and that was it. I, the, the ACU sort of had to turn a blind eye a little bit on that on that one but it didn't really matter. What 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 motorcycle racing what motorcycle racing did you do then Ronnie? Is that the first motorcycle you've ridden or? Other than on the wall of death yeah. Uh, I've never actually raced before in scrambles or anything like that, so it was the first feeling which I liked, but it was well, it was just an afternoon out. Yeah. The speedway bike you ride different. You obviously you stand up, you get up the front of the machine to make it a little bit easier to slide. Did, how did you how did you take up this type of style? Uh, I was lucky, I think, that things just seemed to click. I was a bit short, so I had to stretch a little bit to reach the handlebars. And I'd done a 1932 Rudge as well, which had a knee hook on it, because my old man was riding the same bike and he used a leg trail. So I went up forward and rested against the knee hook, and that sort of held me in position all the time. And from then on, once I got off that bike, I automatically just went forward and in position all the time. But you never leg trail like your dad? No, definitely <laughs> never leg trail. Oh, I did at times, but I didn't mean to. <laughs> that was accidental. 
the when when speedways started for real in Christchurch, did what 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 did you do about a bike? Did you decide what kind of bike, or you just took what was available? Well, to start off with, I still had to use the Rudge. That was quite good. I mean, these days are on four valves. That was a four valve 1932 Rudge. But then a local firm, through pictures in the Speedway Star, made up a frame and nearly everyone finished up on it and so I had one too but with a 32 jet motor in and then one day dad bought me a brand new four star jet and oh that was mighty it was terrific then oh we had a year on that and Norman Parker came out here riding and we bought a second hand star ride frame off him and put my new motor into that and oh that was it that made it yeah. Did, did you, what, what did you start at Ronnie? Did you start handicaps or in a team or what, what, what's, how did you start actually in Christchurch? Yeah, well, in those days everything was handicap. There was a scratch race in the end, I think, but the class of riding was so totally different that you just couldn't have everyone off the start. So it was handicap. And of course, naturally, to start off with, I was off the front, but worked back until I was on a 150-yard handicap which was, well, interesting to say the least. And you was 150 yards, that's, that's when you went to England, you'd, you'd work your way back to 150 yards? Yep. Actual fact, that was just in the start, in the later years out here at Ruapuna, I just had to give them half a lap start. Yeah. But that was a little bit hard, that was. <laughs> Ronnie, when, when you uh, went to England, were you a consistent winner in New Zealand? No, not really. Uh, see, I came across here, oh, I don't know, 1946 or something other, from Tasmania. And, well, I didn't have a passport. I was just on Dad's passport. But when I had to get a passport to go to England, well, I was issued a New Zealand one. But they looked upon me over there as an Australian. So to start off with, I rode for Australia in test matches. Mm. The, when, when you, before you went to England, were you conscious of what English Speedway representative, uh, who was the world champions? Not really. I knew, just through a photograph that appeared in a local paper here, that Tommy Price was the first Englishman to ever win a world final. He just won it. But I looked upon England just as, well, at the track here. And so off we went, but I didn't realise until we got there how professional and how hard it was also. Did you realise before you left that you could make a living riding speedway? Well, I didn't really. I wasn't old enough to sort of analyse all these things properly. I knew you raced for money and you had to have enough money to get a fare back to New Zealand. But I just didn't accept any of that until I landed in England, been in England about a month. Well, then I really and truly accepted it and had to get stuck in on it. You, you went straight to a first division track, and at that time I believe there was three or four divisions running. Did, did you realise how big a jump you was taking by going straight into the first division? Not the day I arrived. I walked into Wimbledon Stadium and I was having their pre-season practice. And I always remember Dickie Harris coming down the straight, losing his handlebars and going straight through the fence. And we went round the pits and met Norman Parker. He arranged for me to borrow a bike off my Erskine, who rode for Wimbledon at those times. And I said to Norman, I've never seen a track so small as Wimbledon. I said, how do I ride it? He said, well, same as Christchurch, flat. So I tried to ride it flat. I did actually make it for three and a half laps before I came off, but everyone thought I was doing good. <laughs> 